end, the killing spree cooked up by two mid-schoolers went way beyond idle talk. Good evening. APS says it foiled a serious plot by a couple of sixth graders to shoot up their middle school and then kill themselves. And administrators say the boys' plan was detailed, even down to the date and time. News 13's Katie Kim reports worried parents want those kids gone forever. School administrators take any rumor or threat to public safety seriously, but officials say the threat of a planned school shooting here at Tony Hillerman Middle School was all too real. They had a plan for December uh, 12th during third period. 12, 12, 12. Two sixth graders admitted to school administrators that they plotted a day of violence later this semester at the West Side School near Rainbow and Unser. The 11 year olds told officials Wednesday they were going to shoot up the school then commit suicide by hanging or shooting themselves. The boys were suspended and could be kicked out of APS for good. We believe we've averted the threat, we've contained it, and the students at Tony Hillerman are safe. APS officials say a fellow student notified school staffers that one of the boys was thinking about killing himself. As part of that evaluation, health experts interviewed a second student when the two revealed their plot to hurt more than just themselves. APS officials would not comment on a possible motive or about the boys themselves. There are very few details that we're able to discuss, to discuss about um, the students. But in the police report, a girl told investigators that one of the boys was stalking her, always trying to kiss her. More police officers were on hand today to put people at ease after school, but emotions were still high. Why are they saying that they may probably be expelled? There should be no two ways about it. Those children should be expelled. It's scary because my brother goes here. Look at the world now, you know what I mean? It's pretty crazy and corrupt, so, I mean, I, it doesn't surprise me. Parents at Hellerman were notified of the situation through APS's automatic calling system this morning. School officials have also sent home this letter this afternoon. Now they want to emphasize they believe the threat is gone and to encourage everyone to report any and all threats. Reporting in Northwest Albuquerque, Katie Kim, KRQE News 13. The juvenile probation office will decide if the two boys whose names are not being released should be charged. Police say one of them is the stepson of a sheriff's deputy. APS will hold a hearing in the next 10 days to decide if they will be permanently expelled.